web scraping with Scrapy. Let's learn to scrape the web with Scrapy. We'll also discuss some common terms you should know. Scrapy is a free and open source web crawling framework. It is a general purpose web crawler and is also used to extract data using APIs. It is fast and powerful, easily extensible and also portable. Scrapy is about spiders. These are self-contained crawlers that take a set of instructions and scrape data from the web. It also follows the don't repeat yourself principle. Scrapy helps extract structured data which can then be used for applications like data mining, information processing, and historical archival. We can build and run web spiders and even deploy them to the Scrapy cloud. Scrapy is fast and powerful. We only need to write the extraction rules and Scrapy takes care of the rest. Scrapy is extensible. We can easily plug in new functionality. It is also portable. Scrapy itself is written in Python and runs everywhere from Linux and Windows to Mac and BSD. Let's understand the basic terminologies of Scrapy. The command line tool has commands and subcommands that may accept arguments and options. These are for multiple purposes. Spiders take rules to crawl the web. Selectors use XPath to extract data from web pages. The Scrapy shell lets us test code in an interactive manner. An item is the data we want to scrape and an item loader populates the items with the data it extracts. An item pipeline post processes and stores the scraped data. Feed exports output the scraped data with the help of different formats and storages. A request object is generated in a spider and passed around until it reaches the downloader. This executes the request and returns a response object. Link extractors are classes that extract links to follow from pages. Scrapy has many settings like concurrent requests and DNS timeout. In the practice session on Scrapy, we'll learn to use the Scrapy shell and we'll also create our own spider and scrape the Dataflare website.